Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for participating in the product promotion seminar from Kuzabio. The protagonist of today's promotion is CCR8. This presentation includes the following five aspects. First, let's introduce the background of CCR8. CCR8 is a chemokin receptor that is specifically highly expressed on tumor infiltrating regulatory T cells, but is basically not expressed on peripheral blood trag or normal tissues. It is a G protein coupled receptor. Human CCR8 has four known ligands CCL1, CCL8, CCL16, and CCL18, while in mice there are only three CCL1, CCL8, and CCL16. In humans and mice, CCR8 is the only known receptor for CCL1, while other CCR8 ligands bind multiple chemokin receptors as well as decoy receptors. A large number of studies have shown that CCR8 is highly expressed in a variety of tumors, such as colorectal cancer, breast cancer, gastric cancer, metastatic brain cancer, and metastatic liver cancer. CCR8 is considered to be a potential tumor immune target. What is the action mechanism of CCR8? In the tumor microenvironment, CCL1 secreted by tumor stem cells, such as CAFs, and TAMs, acts on CCR8 receptors on different cell surfaces, and the CCR8-CCL1 axis plays the following roles. First, CCL1 binds to CCR8 on tumor cells, causing tumor cell proliferation, migration and anti-apoptosis. Second, CCL1 binds to CCR8 on vascular endothelial cells, promoting angiogenesis and tumor growth. Third, CCL1 binds to CCR8 on CD4 plus D cells, resulting in the transformation of CD4 plus D cells into TREGs, which then recruit TREGs. 4. CCL1 binds to CCR8 on TREGs, which are recruited to inflammatory or tumor sites. As these figures show, CCR8 is highly expressed in different tumors and mainly located on tumor infiltrating TREG cells. Moreover, High expression of CCR8 in whole tumor samples, specifically high expression in tumor infiltrating TREG cells, is associated with poor prognosis in NSCLC and CRC patients. Since CCR8 is considered to be a potential tumor immune target. So what are the current drugs targeting CCR8? According to incomplete statistics, there are 19 drugs targeting CCR8 currently under development, most of which are in the early clinical stage, including 3 and phase I-2 clinical trials. 3 in phase I clinical trials, and 13 preclinical drugs. The pharmaceutical companies developing these drugs include Bayer, Bristol Myers Squibb, Shianogi, Abvi, Gilead, AstraZeneca, GlaxoSmithKline. In addition, domestic companies, such as Li Shin Pharmaceutical, Amife Bio, Nuacheng Jinhua, Kanoya, Jaya Bio, Harbin Pharmaceutical, and Xilab are all deploying in this field. The targeting CCR8 shows more possibilities in monoclonal antibodies, bispecific antibodies, and combination drugs. In the left table, we only show antibody drugs targeting CCR8. Here we highlight the preclinical evaluation data of the CCR8 targeted drug JTX1811. Figures 1 and 2 demonstrate that CCR8 is mainly expressed on tumor infiltrating TREG cells and is distributed on the surface of titer cells. Figure 3 is a schematic diagram of the action mechanism of JTX1811. JTX1811 is a CCR8 targeting monoclonal antibody developed by Jounce Therapeutics, Jounce, which binds to CCR8 and can target and clear tumor infiltrating regulatory TREG cells with immunosuppressive ability through an enhanced antibody dependent cytotoxicity mechanism to enhance anti tumor immunity, currently has been approved by the FDA for clinical trials in the United States. Figure 4 shows that JTX1811 monoclonal antibody can significantly inhibit CCR8 induced by CCL1 signaling. Figure 5 shows that the combination of anti-mouse CCR8 monoclonal antibody and PD-1 monoclonal antibody has a good anti-tumor synergy in a PD-1 resistant cancer model. Figure 6 shows that anti-mouse CCR8 MAB exhibits single-agent anti-tumor activity in MC38 via FC mediated depletion of titer cells. Moreover, the ability of JTX1811 to deplete CCR8 expressing target cells in vitro is comparable to that of human titer cells. Combined with the preclinical data of JTX1811 disclosed by Gilead, we have reason to believe that CCR8 can still be expected in the future. In order to facilitate the research and development of CCR8 antibody drugs, 
Kuzabio has developed a series of CCR8 protein and antibodies using the featured membrane protein platform and antibody development platform. This is our current hot selling CCR8 protein. This protein is a full length active membrane protein expressed on the VLP's platform. It has a complete protein conformation and can be used for immunization, ELISA, SPR, and BLI. Here are some of the best selling positive antibodies, which are recombinant and flow validated. In addition, we can also provide stably transfected cell lines. In addition to these developed products, Kuzabio can also provide one-stop service for early-stage lead antibody molecule discovery for pharmaceutical companies, accelerating the process of drug research and development. Kuzabio is a member of Life Origin Biotech joint stock, established in December 2007. Kuzabio is a biological high-tech enterprise integrating scientific research, production and sales in one and aims to provide high-quality products and services for scientific research institutions, institution of higher education and pharmaceutical companies. At present, our products are exported to more than 80 countries such as Europe, America, Japan, and Germany. And Kuzabio has established long-term cooperative relationships with many well-known companies. The above is the whole content of this this promotion seminar. If you have any questions, you can contact us through the following contact information. That's all. Thank you.